let me show you some of the unnecessary costs that come with white palettes. So, you have a business. You have a product that you want to sell. You need some palettes to get your product to your customers. So, you use your money to buy some palettes. But is that really the final cost? Or are there any other costs that come with buying palettes? Well, there are. A lot. Let's go through them one by one from the beginning to the end of the supply chain. After you send your pallets with product to your customer, you need them back. So, you send a truck. Trucks usually have to wait several hours in a queue to get the pallets back. Then, they receive the pallets, but they may be in much worse condition than the pallets you sent. And you're paying for the transport of empty pallets. When the pallets are then unloaded, you pay someone to inspect them. You pay someone to sort the bad ones from the good, and you pay someone to repair them. Or, you pay the repair company. Not to mention, some of the pallets are unusable, and some are lost or stolen. Pallets also need to be stored somewhere, so you pay for the storage space, and sometimes you also need to pay for the transport of empty pallets between your warehouses too. Of course, the quality of the pallets will depreciate over time, and so, one day, you'll need to buy new pallets. Or, call all of your customers and suppliers that owe you some. This isn't a pleasant call. Sometimes you need to stop the production line because a damaged pallet gets stuck. Time means money. Safe to say you're storing a lot of money in each of those pallets. And those are only the visible costs. The only purpose of a pallet should be to provide your great products to your customers. But buying pallets results in all of these extra costs for you. So you could do all of that. Or you could rent a pallet from Chet and never have to do any of those things again. Find out more at chep.com.